evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wednesday night. It is main event live on Nonstop Sport. I am Dave Easton. No, no Mundo here this week. I am joined with Oliver Bisping. Oliver, good evening. Hello. Uh, no special guest name. And you've got me, Oliver, instead of the Mundo. How nice is that? Uh, it's pretty nice, you know. And um, we're going to start things off this week with a Raw match. Uh, Brent Starr taking on Mark Russ. That'll be a fun match. Indeed. Brent Starr. We've seen him a couple of times on uh, main event. Um, yeah. What do you think of this guy so far, Oliver? Uh, you know, he's a decent fighter. I think he could probably win here today. Well, he's going to be up against a tough opponent in M Mr. Money in the Bank from Season 1, Mark Russ. Uh, so it should be a very interesting way to kick off a brand new extended main event. Yeah. The fans wanted more, we give them more. Did they want to get rid of Mundo too? Because he's not here. They must have, because that's why I'm here. Yeah? Yeah. So, obviously the face, the voice of NSW, of course, Dave Easton here. Oh, of course. Uh, and here comes a guy that many people have said will be a future world champion, and that is Mark Russ. I don't know, he's on main event right now. I mean, what's his future going to be like? Well, picks up a win here. You can only mean that you're going to impress Mr. Michaels on a good old Raw, and it could get him up that card as quickly as possible. That, or, you know, he could be on SmackDown after the draft. The draft, of course. The draft coming this Monday night uh, should be very interesting. All superstars of SmackDown and Raw will be under the same roof. Yeah. And, Oliver, of course, TLC, Sunday night. Hmm. I heard there's going to be a special singer. Uh, there is going to be a special a special performance. Don't want to really give it away, though. We should really let the fans wait for that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, raw action here, as we say, as Brent Starr really starts to make a name for himself. And beating a guy of someone like Mark Russ, uh, Oliver, you would say that would definitely open the eyes to a lot of people here on NSW. Yeah, maybe even to the, the GM of uh, SmackDown and, you know, get him. Yeah, definitely looking for new talent. We know Paul Heyman watches main event very carefully, especially for the SmackDown guys are 3-0 up in uh, matches against Raw so far. Yeah. And look at this Brent Star. Look at this strength yeah. of this man. This could be over already. No, kick out of one. That, that is some amazing strength shown off by Brent Star. It, it, it is. Brent Star, of course, brand new into NSW for season two. Look at this, yeah. just toss, and then Marcus just tosses him. Uh oh, this could be bad. The big splash! Oh, but Russ, that should capitalize. Yeah, he should have. Oh. oh, he's pulling him away from the ropes. Very mm. clever. Oh, but then, not <sighs> really. Long. Yeah, took to him. Look at just vicious punches from Marcus again. And does he think that's enough? Oh, that might be enough. That's going to give some internal injuries. And no kick out of Brent by Brent Star too. Mm -hmm. and, oh, oh that, is, that has to be it. That has to be it. This skull crushing into the mat. There's one, there's two, and there is the three. He just went to town on him. Well, that is what a main event player is all about. And well, Mark Russ picks up the win. And it's another learning curve for Brent Starr here tonight. Maybe impress Paul Heyman. Well, we will know. Will we see Mark Russ on SmackDown? The draft will tell us when it comes up next Monday. Uh, but for now, your winner in this one, in our opening contest, is Mark Russ. Yep. And, however, we're going to go throw it back to a bit of a raw rebound before we get into our second match. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we might move on to our main event of the evening. It is Chris Jericho and Ryback and Chris Jericho's opponent, TLC, our World Heavyweight Champion, and Chanu Cesaro and Chris Hero, the return of Kings of Wrestling. Taking a beating in this one. Yeah, come on, ref. It's supposed to be one-on-one, -on -one, not two-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Oh, the backbreaker by Jericho. Grabbing the head. This could be all over again. The hero's inside the ring. In two. Oh, but he doesn't break it up, and we have a three. And Jericho has picked 
has pinned a world heavyweight champion. What is it? Oh, 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 oh no! Come on, Jericho. There's no need for that at all. Well, Jericho. Well, we are back on main event. It is Dave Easton along with Oliver Bisping. And coming up next, it's Divas action. It's Layla versus Nikki Bella. Ooh. Nice Divas match. Nice to see them on main event. Yeah. As Layla coming to the ring, we know Layla and has been signing herself with AJ Lee recently. Mm -hmm. uh, but should be very interesting against one of the Bellas here tonight. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And uh, no Nikki on the side, you know, not helping Brie out. Yeah, so maybe we'll get to see a classic one-on-one -on -one, uh, women's match here tonight. Yeah. We'll find out. Especially, yeah. where, I wonder where Brie is here though tonight. If there's no Brie, where is she? I don't know. But let's see if Leila can pick a win. Obviously, we now know that Megan is the new number one contender, Oliver, to uh, Paige's uh, title, and that will be a match at TLC. Yes, it will. And we all know about the, the problems that the, the mm. certain color, the sort of commentators have um, over the women here in uh, NSW. Mm hmm. Uh, not mentioning any no names Joe Disney and Matt Rhodes. Oh. I've heard my name's been tossed around, I've heard. Haven't you got more things to worry about? Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> I, I mean, the shield apparently are after me, but you know, I'm not worried. Well, well, uh, confidence, that's what I like to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but as Nikki is it gets ready for action. Yeah. Let's see who picks up the win in this exciting women's match in NSW. Very exciting. How do you feel about finally getting managing to get some words in Edgeways this week? Uh, you know, last week I did pretty good on getting some words, but uh, when Jess came in, it wasn't that great. I heard you, uh, well... Obviously, I have to put up with um, Mean Jess Oakland on a Saturday night. A nice yep. win over his son, by the way. Yep, yep. As uh, always. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, you, number one contendership match for you on uh, Saturday night. Should yep. be very interesting indeed. I'd say as long as the Shield doesn't know, try to mess me up, I think I'll win that just fine. And how, how, maybe you could follow in the uh, footsteps of uh, some other commentators here and winning some uh, gold. Yeah. But, you know, maybe I will only need it once. Well, <laughs> very true. Very true indeed. As I uh, look at this, Nikki, though, looking for the snap suplex. Lovely takeover by Nikki. And Nikki doing it on her own tonight and mm -hmm. going into the cover here. Hook off the leg as well. Oh, but too, not enough to put Layla down. I know. Um, what do you think of Layla's skills in the ring, Oliver? Uh, you know, she's doing good. Uh, I heard she's been uh, working in other places as well. Apparently she's on open contract, I heard, but, you know, she's working good. Yeah, and uh, good women here in NSW. Oh, look at that! A lovely kick. We build Ooh. up Layla. What happens? Nikki hits her with an insecure to the back of the head. And this one, I think, is over. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Wow, big win for Nikki Bella here tonight. I think it's good that she's able to get that win without Brie on the sidelines. Yeah, maybe that's going to just sort of uh, tell the GMs to, that she might be, wants to be next in line for a women's title shot. Yeah, definitely so. Well, beautiful women we have here in NSW and also, well, they may be beautiful, but they can get the job done in the ring. And a big win for Nikki Bella here tonight. Yeah, a very big win. Women's division getting hotter and hotter each week in NSW. But let's go through some of the matches, Oliver, coming up in TLC. And we kick things off with the NSW Tag Team Championship. The new champs from Monday, Giant Limbo and Yui Watson taking on Trey Donovan, Corey Graves. That yeah, would definitely be a, a good matchup. Especially a rematch for the ages. Trey and Corey looking for revenge after losing the tit titles on their first defense this past Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pretty bad about that and now they want to get it back. And I'm sure the match that most people will want to see, especially our co-commentators, it is Paige versus Megan. The Women's Championship is on the line. Yes. 
not saying any names, but uh, Joe might really like to see this matchup. And especially with Paige destroying things, Megan, the commentator's favourites. Mm -hmm. I think you can easily say that, Oliver. Yeah, that's a lot of commentators' favourites, not mine. <laughs> but who's, who is yours? Uh, I'm not disclaiming. Ah, uh, well, we will continue on then. Coming up next, it is a singles match. It is Travis Soul versus Fandango. Ooh. And here comes Joe Disney's favourite hairdresser. Yeah, Mr. You know, Travis yeah. Soul. Their Joe goes to him a lot, you know. They talk. Still wonder why he's not on the Disney Alliance yet. Well, there you go. Maybe they're just friends. Hmm. And also, it has the fact to do that Travis Soul is on SmackDown and Joe Disney uh, only commentates on SmackDown. Yeah, well, you know. They're still good friends. Very true. Uh, but well, look at the hairdo, though, Oliver. You've got to say, very impressive. I think he says he does it himself. Wow, that is impressive. How? I'd be very interested to see how he does that. Oh what? yeah, I, I just got a thing from the app. It's uh, Joe has actually said he does his weave. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Well, here we go then. And Travis was so impressed the first thing we're going to do it again. Yeah, you know what? I think Joe asked that he can do it twice, and he's like, you know what? I can do it. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Why, why not uh, do it twice if you can? Yeah. I know that uh, there's been this new kind of attitude from Travis Soul. Mm -hmm. This one of swag, as they would call it. So, yeah. do it once, do it twice. Only if you have swag. Exactly. Maybe it's a Joe Disney thing. It, it probably is. Oh, well, we will find out. Uh, I wonder if we're going to give Fandango, Fandango an entrance since we, Travis Soul took it up twice. Uh, it was too much time, probably. That, that too. Oh no, we are. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna give him one. That's nice. Oh, we don't give him two though. Mm. I'm sure Matt Rhodes isn't complaining. Yeah. Well, especially if you get to see this lovely lady. Yeah. Uh, Summer Rae, who yeah we do know Matt Rhodes has got a sort of a thing for. Yeah, we do. And here is the man of the hour, Fandango. Yeah. Do you think we're going to give him two entrances? Hmm. Uh, I would just give Summer Rae one. That's true. We do pay an awful lot for that entrance, though. Yeah, you know, might as well do it twice. Hmm. I, I, time, we can't. Who are we going to. Oh, who can we blame for the production? Uh. Uh, well, we can blame, uh. Bruce while I let him do it while I'm commentating. You know Bruce? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're good friends. Uh, I have heard the rumours. Yeah. Uh, so, Fandango and Summer, would you not say these two make a lovely couple? Uh, I, I, I think they might, but uh, Matt Rhodes would definitely uh, disagree. Well, that's true. As I say, Matt Rhodes does like to uh, talk about Summer a lot, despite Summer refusing his advances so far. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm a Fandango girl, and not groovy. Well. There you go, yeah. Oh. Likes. Oh, now look at that. What a lucky man. Lucky. Oh, lucky girl. That's whatever way you swing, I guess. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, move along. And as you can see, the fans fandango in uh, here yeah. tonight. It's a fun entrance. Right. Like it. Yeah, and fandango, of course, playing along with the fans. Of course, a big fan favourite here in NSW. Mm. Has been since the middle of season one when he sort of decided to stop going against the fans and started telling everyone that they should do more fandangoing. Yeah. I don't think uh, Matt Rhodes is. No, I definitely don't think. A European champion Matt Rhodes, of course. Of course. Uh, and here we go. Only one entrance for uh, Fandango. And let's go. Yeah. Well, as we all know, Fandango doesn't have swag. No. Maybe it's a thing for... The Disney Alliance, Swag and Travis Hall. And look at that! That has got to be Swag with shots like that off the top. Yeah, oh, it just keeps on coming. Yeah, he just keep. Look at this, there's some aggression from Travis Hall here tonight. What, what did Fandango do to him? Well, he does a Fandango, surely. Oof. Where and, did Summer go? Oh, uh, she doesn't stay outside, she doesn't stay for ringside. Oh. 
I don't know sure what... what's complaining. Well, that well, she's not a, she's not a raw, so it, well, okay. except she right when she wrestles, I can't keep Matt Matt Road. Con he's just out of control, kind of thing. Obviously. But uh, Travis Soul trying to look to to get somewhere on SmackDown. He hasn't we haven't seen him much on SmackDown so far this season. I've seen him more times on main event. Well, you know, he's still trying to make a name for himself, and you know, winning here would definitely make a name. Well, it wouldn't, especially after someone like, like Fandango, former European champion of NSW. But oh, look at that oh. nice takeover, sunset flip kind of move by Fandango, yeah. and now just the punches to the sort of the hairline. Yeah, he's grabbing the hair too. He uh, had to let go of that. Yeah, you can't. You know, he's a bit. Fandango, nice swinging Ooh. neck breaker. That is going to take the wind out of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not going to capitalize with the move. Oh. oh, he went for the spinning wheel kick and. Travis will miss out the way, but uh oh, oh, straight down. Yes, I can see it. Anyone, even Fandango, can do a Russian leg sweep. I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But look at this, Travis will coming back with a chop, a kick off the ropes, yeah. and a big <laughs> chop takes Fandango off his feet. Travis will this be enough? Is he just seconds away from a victory here? Oh, uh oh, oh. Yeah. He doesn't think it was enough. Look at this. The soul drop right into the solar plexus, and that is it, surely. And it is. That and move was swag. It was swag, and has the swag man now starting to build his season two from here? Yeah. Maybe again he could be taking part of the draft and you know moved on to Raw. Very interesting to see. Travis Soul is your winner, and well, a big win for the Joe Disney hairstylist here tonight. Mm -hmm. But I know one thing, Joe definitely want to see him move the Raw. He can't commentate him on anymore. That's true, we will find out what happens to the, remember the draft, but your winner tonight is Travis Soul. Mm -hmm. We move on to more matches that come up in the big main events, Oliver, from TLC. The World Heavyweight Championship from Raw is on the line. TLC rules Cesaro versus Jericho. That would definitely be a great matchup. It definitely will be one for the ages. You have to retrieve the belt. And remember, tables, ladders and chairs, everything comes into play on this one. Yes, it does. Expect a lot of carnage in the ring. Mm. Well, Especially after, you know, what happened on Raw. Exactly. And from the SmackDown side of things, it's a ladder match. Triple threat rules. Sheamus defends against the number one contender, Jeff Hardy. And Paul Heyman's henchman, Brock Lesnar. Now I wonder if Paul Heyman is the reason that he's even a part of that. Yeah, and well, would you really want to bet? Would you want to argue with Paul Heyman when you've got Brock Lesnar next to him? Uh, I think uh, Sheamus might want to, and Jeff Hardy. Well, we will find out. Ladder match for the NSW Gold comes your way at TLC. But coming up next, it is from the SmackDown side of um, NSW, it is The Miz. And he's going to take on Mark Henry. Ooh. And the former World Heavyweight Champion of NSW, The Miz, here on Main Event. This will be a great matchup. Should be a very interesting matchup between these two. Uh, especially with both men have known to have problems with each other in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, should be very interesting to see which way this match goes. Yeah, it'll definitely be an interesting matchup for sure. And The Miz, as we said, former World Heavyweight Champion, looking to try and hit them heights again. Maybe another guy, Oliver, that will be looking to the draft on Monday night to see if he can get back on goal. Yeah. You know, and all he needs is to do is uh, win here against the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Mark Henry, who's had his problems with uh, Curtis Axel in recent weeks on SmackDown, and yeah. now on Main Event. Would you, I would not like to be in the Hall of Pain. No, I don't think anyone would. No, but this guy, on his day, can absolutely destroy anyone. As you see, of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. This is incredible, you know, being the world's strongest man. Just think, six billion people in the world, and this guy is stronger than all of them. Yeah. And it's a, it's a great achievement, but now you got to uh, live up to it. And especially, especially uh, like a guy like Miz, as you said, 
has got the job done on so many occasions here. This should be a, just a very interesting way how this goes. Yeah. And remember guys, if you are watching us on Twitch and you're new to the channel, please give us a cheeky follow. If you're watching us on YouTube, well, hello to you as well. Make sure you're leaving us a comment in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button to make sure you can keep up to date with all NSW videos and also crazy stuff that goes on on the channel as well. Yeah. And it's part of me and Oliver are part of on a number of occasions. Yeah. So, very good videos up there as well. And But now we are ready for our next match. Um, the Miz and Mark Henry. And Mark Henry looks a bit peed off here tonight, Oliver. Yeah, yes, he does. Maybe he's still think that that defeat to Curtis Barnett. So mm. here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Miz and Mark Henry. I'm sure it's be a good matchup if you know, whoever wins, you know, they're going to impress their GMs. Indeed. And anyone, Ooh. even Miz, can do a Russian leg sweep. In the beginning. Just making me happy. Always yeah. been a big fan of the Miz. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, oh, but look at that Ooh. side step. Look at that's the strength of Mark Henry taking Miz down with a shoulder tackle. Yeah, there's, no there's no technique for Mark Henry, it's just brute force. It, indeed, and if you're anyone against Mark Henry, the, the thing you don't want to do is really get into like a strength battle with Mark Henry, because you're not going to win. Yeah, well, you know, many people have tried, many people failed, because he is the world's strongest man. Indeed, and we've seen him do some extraordinary things with his strength, but Miz, no slouch in the ring, hitting a lovely clothesline there in the corner. And look, look at this. Oh, He's showing some strength doing? of his own. Oh, just slamming Henry down there. And as we've talked about all night, Oliver, the, mm. the draft coming up on Raw, but we still have some shows before that. As anyone, even The Miz, can do a second Russian leg sweep. He's just really trying to make you happy. He is indeed. I just well, assume... He's going over to us now, though. No, sort of. I don't know, I don't know if he said something to you there, Oliver. I don't know. Did he, what was he saying? I know, I think it's on you saying they, I did that Russian work suit for you. Oh my god. Ah, that's nice of him. Couldn't yeah. quite catch what he said there. But yeah. uh, as we've seen, we're talking before, seeing that we've still got a lot of shows coming up this week. Uh, we have uh, SmackDown tomorrow. We have NXT, which of course you're part of, and I'll be commentating on on Saturday. And then, ooh, sorry, big DDT on the outside there. Uh, we've got TLC, our first pay per view of the season on Sunday night. That would definitely be an interesting one. And then, okay. yeah, and then we've got the draft coming on Monday. Yeah. A very interesting week in a bit coming up for all NSW superstars, and especially you guys on NXT. Yeah. Look, at this, uh, Mark Henry, despite taking the DDT on the outside, has come back in this and is now in control. And uh oh, oh this doesn't oh. look good. Oh, full away slam. Hmm. Well, is that going to be enough? I don't okay. think it is. There's still more to come from our... Look at the strength! Bye-bye, uh, yeah, Miz. Oh! No. That is not good. And look like at... Th yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 no. Too near the ropes. Uh, the foot. Just too close to the ropes. Miz can try and get a breather here, but he's not going to oh. work. Oh, my goodness. Not again. Uh, again. Oh, no! It's oh, into the no. slam! Good night, Miz. Despite your Russian leg sweep, that is not going to be enough for Miz to kick out. Surely, Mark Henry impressive, and he picks up the win over the Miz here tonight. Getting away from the Russian leg sweeps to win. That is a massive, massive move, and the power of Mark Henry. Well, he defeats the Miz here tonight. Yeah. Couldn't say shock, you know, he is the world's strongest man, but you yeah. know. Well, I think he will put away any superstar with that kind of move. And well, despite the Miz and his Russian leg sweeps, it's not good enough tonight. Mark Henry picks up the win. Good job. And I tell you what, I would not like to meet this man in a dark alley. Oh, no. Never. Could we see, as I say, about Travis Sewell, are we going to see more about that? From oh. Mark Henry in the coming week. But coming up, it is your main event on SmackDown tomorrow. It has been announced. Jeff Hardy versus Sheamus with the twist all about is Evan Walker is the special referee. Hey, I think I know someone's going to get screwed out of that. These two 
while Evan Walker and Sheamus have had their problems in the past, especially since Evan Walker tried to introduce himself a few weeks ago. That is your main event for SmackDown. Oliver, it's one to worth watching. Yes, it is. And coming up next, it is uh, the team of the Chick Magnet, Sean Bethwick and Tyler Breeze taking on a team Oliver knows well, it's Chaz and Bruce. Now, I don't know who's doing me to do a production because th that's my whole entire crew right there. Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I don't, hopefully, we'll get through this without any uh, botches, as, as we would say. Yeah. But here's a team that I know Matt Rhodes likes to go out on the town with, and this is the Chick Magnet, Tyler Breeze, and Sean Betherick. Yeah. And I do know that Matt raves about these guys on Monday night. Yeah, I, I hear. I hear about it. And But this is. Really, if it was uh, anything for Raw, Raw desperately need to win this one as they're 3-0 down in the series already. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sure they can. Well, we'll have to find out. If a very big um, chance for Tyler Breeze and Sean Bethwick to put their names up on the board here, and especially if they can win, maybe tell Jen Michaels, look, we want a title shot um, after we find out who's going to be the champions on come Sunday. Yeah. But you know, if they don't win here, they might be back another week. Yeah, well, we might see them again on a... We have seen them a few times on main yeah. event in singles action. Yeah, singles. I'm pretty sure they won, didn't they? Uh, uh, mixed results, I guess. Uh, ah. And here comes... Uh, well, Oliver's favourite team, Chaz yeah. and Bruce. Yep. Yeah. And we know Chaz and Bruce have had their sort of rivalry with uh, Sami Zayn and Edge over on SmackDown. Mm -hmm. So a bit interesting to see how they will do against two of um, Raw's, well, a team from Raw, a very good team from Raw. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say about these two, Oliver? Uh, well, you know, they're, they're some great guys, you know. So I know, like, uh, a certain bad news person doesn't really like them, but, you know, That's they're, true. They're, they're a good team. And I hear they take you to some nice places um, on the town. Oh, uh, well, you know, they, they like to, you know, just not my places, you know. Well, Chaz and Bruce are in action. It is your main event on main event. It is the Chick Magnet versus Chaz and Bruce. And mm -hmm. here we go then. Oh, look at that, Sean Patrick having none of <laughs> Chaz straight with a nice kick to the face. I still don't understand why Sean Bethwick wears some uh, them glasses through the match. Ah, uh, well, you know, maybe it's just uh, he needs to see, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. true. As uh, Tyler Breeze now in, taking over, and some vicious kicks. Look at the kicks going on here. Remember, guys, if you're in the NSW up to make sure you... Oh, and a kick Ooh. to the head! Could this be the quick main event and roll needed? Oh, no, Chaz playing... <laughs> Uh, possum then moving out the win. Here comes Bruce for the first time. Uh, as you see, Chaz and Bruce having their problems with Sami Zayn and Edge over on SmackDown. Yeah, none of that stuff will happen to Bruce. Mm. Look at this, Taylor. Very mm. interesting matchup. These four men can be, have been told uh, very flamboyant, as they would say. Well, you know, chick magnets, and, you know, Chaz and Bruce. So, Taylor Breeze here. To go behind. Oh, nice rake Ooh. down the back there. Gonna hurt Bruce, especially with all that hair. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bruce definitely needs a tag here. Seems to be getting a little bit beaten up here. As again, the quick tag. Here come the chick mangas. What they're gonna do here? Into the ropes. Oh, Ooh, and a nice shoulder block. Nice. Oh, Sean Bethwick going after the referee there. Don't know what that was all about. Maybe I, I heard uh, that he gave him a fast count before and he didn't like it, so he attacked him. Oh my goodness, it's so, it's a lot of people going around uh, talking about fast counts. I heard yeah. so, so, someone moaning Ooh. about you being f winning through a fast count a few weeks ago. Now, I, I still auto replays. That was a legitimate count. That's true. That's uh, true. I even said that myself. Oh, look at the show showing off here. That is just, well, that's why he's showing the show, I guess. Yeah. As a oh, and a nice slam as again, Sean Bethwick, Tyler Breeze, the Chick Mags have been in control for most of this match. Yeah, uh, but well. now here comes Bruce with a comeback uh, with a nice spinning kick. Yeah, he Bruce is just having none of it. 
Yeah, definitely. Look at this, the takeover. The, don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Chaz and Bruce are very good technical wrestlers. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have not given the credit that they have. We, when we found them, they are very good technical wrestlers here. Yeah, I, I've been hearing some of the bad things they say about Chaz and Bruce, but you know, they're, they're a good tag team. They can get it done in the ring. Indeed, and they've, and they've pulled off some big things. Chaz has pulled off a massive win over Edge on SmackDown, so they can yep. get the job done when needed to. Yes, they can. And now Tyler Breeze into the ring. And it'll be very interesting, as we've talked about the draft all night, to see what happens to the teams. Will teams be broken up or will teams be drafted together? I'm sure it'll be just like the last draft where they will put them together. And we will find out as a Bruce with a nice overhead throw on Tyler Breeze. Can he get more of offense in here? Just sort of trying to have words with Chaz, but let's give Tyler Breeze a chance to get back here. Well, just, you know, give him some good coaching tips, and he's just going to go right back into this. But it, it backfired again as Sean Bethwick again goes, oh, and knocks Chaz right in front of us. Really, I don't know Bruce what that... Bruce behind. Yeah, Bruce with the big behind as he takes down uh, Sean Bethwick, going for the v submission victory, pulling on that hand. Ooh. Chaz back to his feet here. I'm sure that's not going to do well for Chaz. Bathwick, though, has him up. Oh. Oh, the knee right down across. Gut buster. That could be it. There. The gut buster indeed. And dropped him. Not done yet. There's two. Think of the hat trick. There it is. Oh. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. No, oh. he's not get it. Chaz breaks up the crowd, shouting the two. The ref oh. just losing control. Yeah, again, they have all four men in the ring, but Sean Bethwick. Oh, this is this oh, now. Oh, he's in the sleeper. Is he close enough to rope? He Can should he be. It? Chaz coming in, sees enough of that and breaks yeah. that up. Again, and again, save him. Yeah, again, the referee losing all kind of this here. Ooh. Now, now Bruce got capitalized. There Bruce you go. Is, yeah, we go. Chaz is in for. About time there was a tag in here. Bruce. Yeah. Now, what can these two do? Oh, big Ooh. backdrop. Taking him over here. Yeah. Now they needed this, this tag. And you look at this, Chaz now going to work on Sean Bethwick with a nice swinging neck break. And, and the splash. Ooh. My goodness, what agility, but Bethwick nope. coming back here. Oh, the spin, the DDT out of nowhere. That Tyree's going around. This could be it. It's and over. he got a Bruce couldn't make the save. And a big win for the Chick Magnet. And Oliver, out of all of that, Raw are on the board. Yeah, well, I think that was a fast count. <laughs> well, I think it was just enough for Raw to get the victory. It's 3-1 to one if you're counting at home, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for main event on main event. And it now means this will be very interesting, Oliver, as we go to the draft, when it will be SmackDown versus Raw competitors. should be very interesting. Yeah, well, you know, I think uh, Joe is not going to be happy because he was always, you know, gloating about how we were, uh, SmackDown was winning our main event. What? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Main event episode four is over. My big thanks to Oliver Bisping for joining myself, Steve Easton, here tonight. If you're on Twitch and you're the first time viewer, hit that follow button. If you're on YouTube, make sure you're leaving a comment and hit the subscribe button. Oliver, as always, say goodbye to our lovely fans. Give it sunny. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You make sure you join Oliver and myself. It's NXT and it comes on Saturday. But before that, you make sure you join me and Joe Disney for SmackDown tomorrow night. Good night.